It may be hard to accept, but nothing lasts forever. Even overwhelmingly distant celestial bodies like stars. That's why astrophysicists keep a close eye on the universe around us as to not miss any changes in the vast, ever-expanding cosmos. In recent years, a red supergiant has caught their attention, and now their every move amazes them. Using historical evidence and modern state-of-the-art telescopes such as the Hubble Space Telescope, scientists have been able to discover some mind-boggling things about this incredibly bright star. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to like this video and turn on the notification bell. The most puzzling of these findings suggests that something might be going on with it. The spectral type M12 red supergiant has been named Betelgeuse, and it's one of the largest stars in the universe in the night sky. Betelgeuse is usually in the 10th brightest star, but in the constellation of Orion, it is considered the second brightest, number one being Rigo. It is a semi-regular reddish variable star with an apparent magnitude ranging from 0 to plus 1.6. This is the widest range shown by any first magnitude star at near infrared wavelengths. If Betelgeuse were at the center of our solar system, its surface would lie beyond the asteroid belt and engulf the orbit of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. According to calculations, Betelgeuse mass ranges from 10 to just over 20 times that of the Sun. Measuring its distance has been challenged for astronomers but their current estimates suggest that it's between 500 and 600 light years away from the Sun. The supergiant is less than 10 million years old and has evolved rapidly due to its large mass. A team of astronomers discovered that the star Betelgeuse changed its color from yellow-orange to red about 2,000 years ago. The star is in the red giant star phase, which is common for stellar bodies when they finish burning hydrogens in their cores. This change causes the collapse of the core and reddening of the outer layers of the star. According to experts, our sun will pass through the same stage of this evolution in about 5 billion years and will swell to a radius close to the orbits of Mars, consuming inner rocky planets of the solar system, including the Earth. Astronomers know that stars change color during their lifetimes. A Chinese court astronomer named Xian Qian wrote about the colors of the stars in 100 BC and in his notes, he describes the colors of the stars. White is like Ceres, red is like Antares, yellow is like Velte Rouge, and blue is like Bellatrix. To this should be added that color changes are also accompanied by variations in brightness and size. These changes can provide significant information about the age and mass of the star. The study of historical documents has helped researchers determine that Velte Rouge passed through this stage about 2,000 years ago. This suggests that it was in an advanced stage of its evolution, and it is likely that its life has already ended with a large explosion. Despite being one of the brightest stars in the firmament, Velturus has experienced demon cycles every 425 days, in which it temporarily loses a quarter of its maximum brightness. However, in February 2020, astronomers noticed that Velturus's brightness unexpectedly decreased by two-thirds, and have to be perceived with the naked eye. This unexplained demon was alarming because it suggested that the star might be about to explode. Experts believe that the supernova explosion will be a mind-blowing spectacle for Earth's inhabitants due to its Velte Rouge proximity to our planet. However, astronomers are actually studying Velte Rouge to better understand its behavior and to determine whether it's actually exploded. Some have suggested that the demon could be the result of a massive eruption of the star's surface or even a change in its rotation. New data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope have raised suspicions about the unprecedented dimming of the star Belt of Rouge. After analyzing data from the HTS and other observatories, astronomers have confirmed that the supergiant literally exploded in 2019 and lost a substantial part of its viable surface, thus producing a colossal surface mass injection. This is a unique incident that has never been seen in the behavior of a normal star. The sun routinely ejects part of its outer atmosphere called corona, but Velte Rouge actually ejects 4 billion times more mass than a typical corona mass ejection. According to Andrea Dupri of the Harvard and Smith Massachusetts Center for Astrophysicists, Velte Rouge is doing very unusual things right now. The interior is kind of bouncing around. These new observations have provided 
vital information about how the red stars lose mass at the end of their lives and as their nucleus furnaces burn out. The amount of mass loss greatly affects their fate, but Betelroach's behavior indicates that the star is about to explode soon, or has already exploded. We are observing stellar evolution in real time. The titanic outburst of 2019 produced jolts and pulsations that blew off huge chunks of the photosphere, exposing a large cold surface beneath the dust cloud that produced the cooling of the photophetic chunk. Betelroach is currently struggling to recover from this injury. That cloud that contributed to the abnormal darkening was also produced by the fractured piece of the photosphere they shot out in space. What is even more mysterious is that the 400-day pulsation of the red star has disappeared. At the moment, experts believe it is temporary, but only time will tell. Scientists are excited to know what Betelroach supernova would look like from the Earth. They believe that the Earth will not be damaged, but when Betelroach supernova explodes, it will shine as brightly in our sky as the size of the moon. For nine months, all the brightness will be concentrated in one point, so it will look like a beacon in the sky casting shadows at night. It will be hard to miss, and we humans will be able to observe this glow even in the daytime, at least for a long year. When Betelroach finally fades away, Orion will be missing his left shoulder. Another star that has scientists concerned is Ida Carina. Ida Carina is an extremely luminous and massive star located in the constellation Carina, approximately 7,500 light years away from Earth. It is one of the brightest stars known in the Milky Way. What makes Ida Carina particularly interesting is its unusual size. In the 19th century, it experienced a massive eruption known as the Great Eruption of Ida Carina which made it one of the brightest stars in the sky for a while. However, since then, it has lost much of its luminosity and has become less prominent in the sky. Ida Carina is a binary star system, composed of a massive and hot star known as the Ida Carina A and a smaller, hot star called Ida Carina B. Ida Carina A it is believed to be an unstable star, in an advanced stage of its evolution and it is expected to undergo a supernova at some point in the future. The study of Ida Carina has been crucial in understanding the evolution and behavior of massive stars, as well as investigating stellar formation, processes, and stellar explosions. It is the subject of observation and research by astronomers worldwide, using a variety of techniques and observatories to unravel these mysteries. Tell me, what do you think? Do you think our generation will be able to see this phenomenon in our skies? Use the comment box to interact with us. Remember to like and subscribe. This way you will be supporting the channel. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next one.